In one of our last videos, we talked about the five worst cities in America for blacks. In this video, instead, we're going to talk about the five best cities for blacks. Forbes put this list together based on four factors. Home ownership rates, entrepreneurship, medium household income, and demographic trends measuring the change in the African American population from 2010 to 2016. Hi, I'm Jarrett, and welcome to The Five, where we share five interesting things in black culture and society in every episode. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified when we release new videos. Here are the top five cities for blacks, starting with number five. Number five, Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina's most populous city has a 35% black population. This population earns a medium household income of $42,108. Charlotte also has a healthy number of black owned businesses and often attracts many black events. The black home ownership rate sits at 41.3% and the city is known for being a relatively affordable place. Number four, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh's 30% black population enjoys a medium income of 49,433 and a home ownership rate of 41.3%. This city is also one of the 10 cities seeing an economic increase for blacks as well as an increase in entrepreneurship. Black Enterprise recently declared Raleigh the startup capital of the South. Raleigh is also ranked at number six for the top metro areas in the country for black kids on several conditions, such as high school graduation rates, healthcare, and poverty levels. This city is also known for its low levels of crime. Number three, Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore's good supply of great paying federal jobs has helped place the median black income at $53,231. Baltimore's 64% black population has a 44.6% home ownership rate. The appearance of Baltimore on this list can be a bit shocking for many because the city is well known for having one of the highest poverty and crime rates in the country. However, note that Baltimore is majority black, so blacks have a diverse experience in the city and plenty of them have managed to economically thrive here. Number two, Austin, Texas. Austin is not popular for its black community, but it made it at number two on the Forbes list for best cities for blacks. Why? Because the number of blacks moving to the city is on the rise and the median income is at 49,971. Home ownership is also slightly higher than the national average for blacks at 42.5%. Austin's black population, however, is on the lower end at only 8%. As more and more blacks migrate to the south, Austin is starting to become an attractive alternative to other major cities in Texas like Houston and Dallas. And for the number one spot, we actually have a tie between Chocolate City, one of my favorite places, DC, and the ATL. Washington DC is another city known for its great supply of well-paid federal jobs. And the metro area around Washington DC is where the highest median household income in the nation is for blacks at $69,246. Home ownership rates for blacks is at 48%, the fourth highest among the largest metro areas. Atlanta has long been known as the black capital of America. Black entrepreneurship is strong in Atlanta, with 20% of the area's black working population identifying as self-employed, which is the highest proportion in the nation. Although the median black income is lower than DC at $48,161, it is also much cheaper to live in Atlanta. The black population in ATL has increased by 14.7% since 2010. Did your favorite city not make it on this list? I'm sure you guys have an opinion on this one. Let us know in the comments. We would love to hear it. That's it for this episode of The Five. We'll be back with another episode on black culture and society.